Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Shh. Today we're talking about the silent killer, carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide isn't called the silent killer because it tiptoes. It's called that because it's a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. It's also a non-irritant and the leading cause of injury or death due to poisoning worldwide. It's very serious business, people. 20,000 Americans visit emergency rooms every year due to accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. 4,000 are hospitalized and 400 die. That's a shockingly large kill count for a developed nation and something all of us should be aware of. So how does carbon monoxide get you and how can you protect yourself? Well, this time the killer really is already inside the house and car, and office, and that weird place you go do Bikram yoga or Soul Cycle or whatever you're into. That's not the point. The point is carbon monoxide is produced anytime fossil fuel is burned. We're talking wood, gas, oil, kerosene, pretty much anything you would use to power your non-electric ovens, furnaces, water heaters, generators, fireplaces, or cars. But you don't have to get all electric boogaloo on us just yet. You can still use fossil fuels. Your house just has to be equipped with a carbon monoxide monitor like this one. Your car should be serviced regularly and never left running in an attached garage. Your fireplace and chimney should be well cleaned and well ventilated. And you shouldn't use space heaters, generators, and the like in small, poorly ventilated areas, like my apartment or your doomsday bunker. Wait, you have one of those? God, you guys are weird. The real key, though, to avoiding CO poisoning is making sure that you're getting enough oxygen. Red blood cells pick up carbon monoxide more quickly than they pick up oxygen, which deprives your cells and tissue of the oxygen that they need to regenerate and function. This causes headaches, nausea, disorientation, fatigue, angina, and if the dose is high enough, loss of consciousness and death. So you just got poisoned from carbon monoxide and now you're dead. The good news is you may have died in your sleep. That is one common way that people succumb to CO poisoning. The bad news is you screwed over your loved ones pretty hard on this one. Your death could have been prevented if you shelled out the 27 bucks for a dumb little CO monitor. And for a guy with a bunker that's nicer than my apartment, you're pretty cheap. Seriously, just buy one. If not for you, then for your family or your cat or your plants, I don't know your value system, but a CO monitor will protect you from poisonous gas. I pretty much can't think of anything I'd rather be protected against more than that, except maybe poisonous monsters. Click here to find out more about the poisonous Gila monster or click here to subscribe and please let me know in the comments what poison, venom, or disease you'd like us to cover next. Also, how smooth was that transition to Gila monsters? Pretty freaking smooth.